Catherine was the fifth wife of Henry VIII. However, she became involved in an affair scandal with another man before marrying Henry. After the betrayal was revealed, Catherine was sentenced to death in 1542. Catherine Howard was born around the year 1521, although the exact date of her birth is not known. She came from a lesser-known English noble family, the Howards. Her mother was Joyce Culpepper, and her father was Edmund Howard, the son of Thomas Howard, Duke of Norfolk. The Howard family was one of the noble families with proximity to the court, although not among the most influential. One prominent aspect of Catherine Howard's early life was her connection to the Boleyn family, particularly Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn was Henry VIII's second wife, renowned for her role in influencing Henry VIII to break from the Catholic Church and establish the Church of England. Catherine Howard was a second cousin to Anne Boleyn, as her mother, Joyce Culpepper, was a cousin to Anne Boleyn. If you're interested in a brief history of Anne Boleyn, I've placed a link in the description. Catherine grew up in a noble family environment that, while not highly notable, still provided her access to education and court life. As a young noblewoman, she likely received education in areas such as court etiquette, art, music, and religion. However, her knowledge might not have been as in-depth, as the educational focus during that time often varied between boys and girls. Like many young noblewomen of her time, Catherine was likely expected to marry and aid in fostering alliances between noble families. At a young age, around 1539, Catherine Howard entered the court of Henry VIII as one of the ladies in waiting to Queen Anne of Cleves, who was Henry's fourth wife. Queen Anne of Cleves came from Germany, and her marriage to Henry VIII was arranged as part of diplomatic efforts. However, when Henry met Anne in person, he found her unattractive, leading to their divorce. During her time as a lady-in-waiting to Queen Anne, Catherine had the opportunity to be within the court environment and interact with court members, including King Henry VIII. Ladies-in-waiting often had access to court news and conversations, which could influence their understanding of power and politics. While in the court, Catherine Howard caught the attention of King Henry VIII. Despite Henry's prior marriages and divorces, he was still seeking a male heir to secure the Tudor dynasty's continuation. When Henry met Catherine, he was charmed by her and became interested in establishing a closer relationship. It appears that Catherine learned much from her late cousin. Catherine Howard's marriage to Henry VIII took place on July 28, 1540, just a few months after his divorce from Queen Anne of Cleves. This marriage marked Henry VIII's ninth marriage in total, and he was around 49 years old at the time. Catherine herself was very young, about 19 years old, and she became the Queen of England. The significant age and experience difference between Catherine Howard and Henry VIII were quite pronounced. Henry had gone through numerous marriages and divorces, and he had several children, including a daughter who would become Queen Mary I. In contrast, Catherine was young and lacked the political experience required to navigate the complexities of the court. However, their marriage was short-lived. Initially, their marriage seemed happy, but over time, certain revelations shook the court and placed Catherine in a significant scandal. During her marriage to Henry VIII, it was revealed that Catherine Howard had been involved in several affairs before marrying him. One particularly controversial relationship was her involvement with Thomas Culpepper, a court official working within the palace. Love letters and private communications between Catherine and Culpepper were discovered by palace guards. The discovery of these love letters and evidence of secret communication between Catherine Howard and Thomas Culpepper prompted a thorough investigation by the court. Catherine's betrayal was deemed highly serious due to her involvement with another man, especially considering her position as the king's wife. This affair scandal had a profound impact on Catherine's reputation and her standing as queen. Her relationship with Culpepper was viewed as a betrayal of the king and the crown, as well as a breach of palace decorum and morality. The scandal sent shockwaves through the court and the politics of the time. In November 1541, Following the revelation of Catherine Howard's affair with Thomas Culpepper and others involved, they faced trial before the Council of Justice. This trial was part of the legal process aimed at investigating the scandal involving the Queen. Catherine Howard and her associates were tried on charges of treason against the King and the Crown. Evidence such as love letters and secret communications formed the basis of their indictment. The trial took place in the presence of judges and high-ranking court officials. After hearing the evidence and arguments, Catherine Howard was found guilty of treason. 
In the court's judgment, she was deemed to have violated the law and the palace protocols. The punishment handed down by the court was death. The death penalty imposed on Catherine Howard was execution by beheading. This method was commonly employed during that time for severe capital crimes, including treason against the king and the nation. On February 13, 1542, Catherine Howard was executed at the Tower of London. The execution was carried out publicly, often serving as a spectacle for the people of that era. Led by an executioner, the beheading was performed carefully to ensure a swift and relatively painless end for the prisoner. With Catherine's death, her short life came to a tragic conclusion that rocked both the court and the society of the time. The story of Catherine Howard's execution reflects the harshness of punishment during that era and how this event marked the tragic end to her scandal-ridden life. Her fate also serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences that may arise when one breaches social norms and palace decorum, particularly in an environment rife with political intrigues like the court during Henry VIII's reign.